Recently I made a couple of reactions to like Bathurst 1000 and Australian supercars and someone asked me to check this one out, it's called 10 Dramatic Last Lap Battles from the past decade man, so I'm expecting some great action here, you can tell me what you think about these ones, tell me what the best last lap battle you've ever seen is, the best race even, uh, and I'll maybe check them out soon if they're not on this video, let's check this one out. <coughs> Mistake. He's up the inside. So tight. Don't make contact now. Go. Don't Go. make contact. Down the front straight. He's got it. It's a duel for the lead. Jeez. Win Cup versus Van Gisbergen. The Kiwi. Neck and neck. Series champion. This is an almighty dive into the chicane. Whoa. Oh, and they make contact. Both of them. Straight over the chicane. Number one pops out in front. It's not done with yet at turn four. Van Gisbergen keeps going. Keeps pushing. Go to reserve, go to reserve too, please. They've got nothing He's left in the He's pushing them hard, man. Keep it in front, but go to reserve. Great driving, great driving. Unbelievable. Just incredible racing. Whoa, look at this speed, at man. Speed. <laughs> I have not seen a better closing stage of a race for a long time. As Van Gisbergen has a little look. The way he's going, I mean, there's Van three of them, really? Nothing. Although the first two are just... The last lap, there will be a dive. Neck and neck, really, man. This really is an all-or-nothing approach from the young Kiwi. And the only thing he can do is give him a serve. He'll bump him here. He'll bump him, run him wide. That's pressure. He can't do it. Wind Cup's going to hold on. Wind Cup has fought off an extraordinary battle. And he takes victory in a race to remember. What a race. Fair play to the guy on second, man. Applying that pressure the whole way, not letting up. This is a classic Ford versus Holden battle. Just stay in front of him. Jeez, flying through the air there. The elbows are going to have to be wide out for Will Davison to hold off a fast charging. Jamie Wincup. We know this feeling. This is like a qualifying lap. The lights are up like a Christmas tree. He's sliding the car. He's over the curbs. It's full attack. It's a maximum attack here from Wincup. His sector splits. His sector splits are awesome. That was Will Davis and it's coughing. He's in trouble. Oh, he's going for it. And Wincup will get him. Very nice. They can't believe it. Everybody here can't believe it. The gamble didn't pay off for Ford Performance Racing, but you've got to applaud this man. Oh, look at the reaction of the fans. One of the most perfect efforts you'll ever see to claim victory in the season opener. Just had that ultimate desire to win there, man. It's a classic Holden versus Ford battle. And he'll be lamenting getting tangled up with his teammate, Mark Winterbottom. It's a round turn four. Winker. So here comes an position. opportunity. He's got it, and Jamie knows it. He covers. He can only move once in the rules if he wants to cover. So there's one opportunity here, and Frosty takes it down the inside. He's on the dirty line. They're both Whoa. at the oh. contact, and around goes Winterbottom. Winker. He's still going. <laughs> Disaster at the front of the race. Winker gets back on. He handled that perfectly, there, man. Well, could have been he gone. Had a big dive. We said he had to have a go. He locked the rear wheels. He speared into the side. He was down the dirty side of the road. And this has had an unbelievable impact on Mark Winterbottom's performance. But at the end of it, Jamie Wincup will limp home. Big contact on the final lap. Tell me more about Jamie Wincup as well. He held his name a couple of times now. His first win of season 2013. Here comes the defending champ again. An unbelievable finish. Hey man, I love this sport. I have not seen the action like this before, but Those it's fantastic. Way before the corner. And you've got to give him credit for having a go at this. Yeah, that's he what I was going to say. Hey, you've got to get on with it. He had the wheels locked. And this is on board with Winkup. Bang! Into the side. Winkup got away with it. He came across the road. He didn't, it was Winkup like all or nothing. Wrong. He went for it. It never paid off, but you've got to take that chance. Move it over, Scotty. Well well done. Done. McLaughlin can hold his ground there, and Wincup is at the absolute edge of the breaking performance. He goes wide. No. He's trying to get underneath him. When they get to 10, the crowd reacts. On the outset. Oh. 
Go for it. That was literally inches. Oh, Scott McLaughlin as well. In the second on Daboo. Sensational Scott McLaughlin. Now let's Brilliant take racing. this final turn. So yeah. Wing Cup's got him. They rub panels. Scott goes on the inside. Wing Whoa. Cup just went wide by himself. And McLaughlin put the hammer down to get second position. The handling from McLaughlin there to keep control was just perfection. Just pressing on as hard as he possibly could. Scott couldn't capitalise. What a great battle it's been with these two guys. The experienced man with an unbelievable young operator, Cropper. So final turn now, car number two, Garth Panda. Bathurst champion of years gone by. Oh, he's in trouble, he's run out of fuel. Where did he get the speed from there? He ran out of fuel? Scott McLaughlin again. What happened there? He really ran out of petrol? And all of a sudden it coughed. And this man, the youngest man in the field, has done it for the second day running. Scott McLaughlin, Valvoline, Volvo, Polestar, get the job done. Yeah man, I've got to say already, I absolutely love this sport man. Tell me how often things like this happen. But if this is a sign of this sport man, so exciting, the battle, the battling nature of these drivers is just so good to see. Going for it. There's no space there either. Now he's just got a hold station because it's a one line groove down through the dipper and on the run towards the elbow. This is off the scale. Off the scale as Wind Cup does everything he can. He had a three second margin. He blocks down the inside because he can. He comes away and another whack. He got him, man. He on, the on the inside, yeah. The speed. We are approaching the eighth hour of the 2014 Super Cheap Auto Eight hour. And Chas Mostert, who's had 21 V8 Supercar events and 56 previous races, is going to make a very special name in history here. He, he just. On the Super Cheap Auto he just wanted that more there. He wanted it so much. Brilliant race. Such a long race and it still has that action rate to the end. Something ugly has happened there with Mostert and Moffat. That looked very nasty. Detract somewhat from the celebrations for these guys, but that's been a brilliant drive from James Courtney to resist the pressure. So Chaz Mostert, James Moffat, big yeah. heavy contact. Yeah, tough luck, mate. It's not much you can do there. Oh Jesus. So we cup and Mostert together. And Moffat just a victim. This is our turn ten. Wow, heavy contact with the concrete wall, and James Moffat just ended up being absolutely in the wrong postcode at that wrong moment. <laughs> in the wrong postcode at that moment. What a finish. We've got less than two and a half kilometres to run on Saturday, part one of the Coates Hire. Newcastle 500, McLaughlin's in fuel trouble. Van Gisbergen's gonna 
potentially threaten to snatch this in the dying moments. One second in the first sector, he's taken off him. McLaughlin's in strife here. It's an energised Shane Van Gisbergen is on him. This is going to be a huge battle to the flag. Out of turn nine. That's the battle for the championship right there. The guy that's first, he's leading. He's, he's about throttle. to lose the position. He's got Van Gisbergen up on the outside of him. There's just two quarters to go. He makes a lunge down the inside. He got it. Van Gisbergen's going to grab it. Shane Van Gisbergen's oh, gone. Fair play. Fuel for car seven. Such a tight track as well. He's going to struggle to the line. Red Bull are going to pull one out of the fire here. 150 points to Shane Van Gisbergen. What a fair score. play. That was, that was awesome driving. Yeah, tell me more about that track. Where was that? I was. Did it say Adelaide? Actually, I'm not sure. I, I never noticed, but that was a tight track through like a town or a city. How he found that gap—that's just fantastic driving. Can he get by? He's right on him, a nail biter down the hill now into turn four. There's only a car length between them. Massive pressure on Cam Waters, who cannot afford a misstep, particularly up here, as Mark Scaife suggested, into turn seven. This is the exit of five. Here comes the curb at six. Bang! Over the top of it. Hunting him down, right man. Right here, and Van Gisbergen knows it, and he shoves the nose up the inside, but it's not quite enough. Trying to find that gap. And still Waters has got a margin, but it's only just barely. If he can hang on to this, it'll be a great under-pressure victory for Waters. And Van Gisbergen tries to drive oh. it out the other side of nine, but he doesn't quite have enough. He's got three corners remaining. This is ten. Waters survives out the other side. Now it's two corners that separate Cam Waters from a potential victory. Can you get it? Oh, he's going for it. This is it. It looks like it. Go on. It's a shootout, man. Go on. Oh, he kept the lead. Good aggressive driving from both, and he kept his nerve to keep the to get the win there. Very good. Up to 210 k. Can he dive it down the inside? He's got two more corners after this one. This is turn 11. Everybody sidestepping, and Di Pasquale gets so close. They're one corner from home. He has a sniff at the gap. He's going to give it back to him. No, he give it back to him. Redress. So he was going to redress, but he didn't let him. Shane stayed there and let him go by first, so he'll get a penalty as a consequence. They're playing the judicial game. Look at this on the replay. He threw everything out of Deeper Squally. It was a do or die move. Yeah. Bang! Gets him in the left rear corner. They would have locked eyes at that point in the cockpit of the car, and it would be a ferocious exchange. Bang! Get that into you. So around goes Shane. Get that into right you. Right now, Deeper Squally's <laughs> thinking, what do I do? Do I back it off and roll to the line? And then the confusion at the line, and in the end, the umpire sorted it out. And a good call. Mm, very good, man. Very good. So they, here's here's the interesting one. He goes to redress. Shane doesn't allow him to redress. So he purposely parks it behind him so that you do incur the penalty. Hmm. Yeah. Tell me more about that last one. I'm not like au fait with the rules and stuff. So I'll explain a bit more. But I mean, talk a little bit about the commentary. I love that commentary. It's so exciting, and engaging. But the sport itself, man. This is the best video I've seen so far. I've watched the crashes, learned about Bathurst 1000, uh, seen the, the fastest lap. Uh, but this was the action, man. This is what I wanted to see. Like Those cars were just chasing each other down, bumper to bumper, the speed they were going at, the action. So exciting. As I mentioned, F1 fan, but how can you not be a fan of this one also, man? Tell me what you think about this. What's the best battle from this video? Thanks.